All right. So our next patient um, had a stroke about two years ago, and she came to us with complaints of um, an increased difficulty with transfers as well as her walking had um, suffered some decline. Uh, so we began with her a while back doing the basic things like squats and standing on uneven surfaces. And when we got this new equipment, we started a more detailed uh, gait training um, routine with her. So what we do is we walk, and while she walks, we turn on the audio feedback so she can hear when her steps are occurring. We're trying to get her step length and her weight bearing to equal out on both sides so that she's using that affected limb more. So she can see the percent weight bearing that she has on each leg and compare the two. And we get excited when we see those numbers come closer and closer to 50% on each leg. And she's also looking at the covariance. So how is her step changing as she walks? As her affected limb becomes fatigued, does, does it take shorter steps? Is it handling less of the weight bearing as it was before? Um, some of the basic measurements too, like the, the step length we get from her as well, so she can see is she taking big steps, and she's been able to normalize that, so her steps are exactly equal now at this time. One of the biggest changes I've seen in Linda is her gait pattern once we get off the treadmill. She is a lot more confident. While she still has to use her narrow base quad cane, she has a bigger step length and more normalized cadence. Our goal with Linda was to get her on an ambulation program with the staff so that once we're done with her, she'll be able to maintain this walking routine every day to maintain her strength. Linda has also become much more aware of her gait pattern. So whereas before, all I could really tell her was take big steps, now she knows that she doesn't rely enough on her affected limb. Where it has the strength, she just needs to trust it more. So she shows a little more courage when it comes to taking those bigger steps with her non-affected side.